Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, a Chardonnay today from Chile. Uh, Erasio is uh, Aconcagua Costa Chardonnay 2013. Um, so Aconcagua is where Erasio is has historically had a lot of its vineyards, but it's been in the warmer inland areas. Uh, this here vineyard here, I think it said 12 kilometers from the coast, 12 kilometers, blah, blah, blah. Uh, ide maritime influence, ideal c c conditions for cool climate varieties. Well, let's see uh, whether it lives up to that. A couple of things I noticed when I stick my nose in. Uh, well, actually, three things. There's this crisp, citrus, lively bracingness. May, I don't know whether I'm getting any saltiness from uh, the sea, uh, but there's also toastiness. Um, so a toasty edge of uh, oak barrels. So it, the, the wine's been um, fermenting it in barrels, but it's not been, so that's the second thing. The third thing is uh, in those barrels, they've not sort of been constantly stirring it up to get it bigger and fatter. In fact, it feels like they've been leaving it there and it's got, it's developed these slightly what I call reductive notes um, and uh, there's this little edge of a uh, vegetable edge, which uh, in small amounts is uh, really, t really tasty, adds extra layers, extra complexity to it. Uh, it smells like it's going to be uh, good, uh, rich, but fresh. I've just had a Chablis before this. I mean, it's, it's, it's richer and fleshier. I think it's going to be a richer, fleshier wine than the, 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 the Chablis was, but there's still going to be that bracing edge. That's pretty tasty wine, though. Nice, toasty edge from oak. Um, but not too much for the, for the uh, so it overwhelms the wine. These flavours, uh, there's a rich, uh, maybe pineapple, passion fruit character in there, apple, uh, citrus, providing freshness, maybe a bit of green gauge, and there's a mealiness, like oatmeal, uh, that's uh, probably from the, uh, from the elevage, what, what's happened to it in the, in the barrel, so just picking up flavours from the, from the yeast uh, that's, uh, that's it, down in the bottom. And then this edge of plummy vegetal uh, reduction that's just adding extra layers uh, making it tastier um, and would I drink it now or want to keep it I mean I, I, I think it's looking really smart now uh, but I'd be very intrigued to see what that looks like in a couple of years time uh, I'm not sure whether it's going to improve uh, but I'll be very interesting to see how it, it, how it, uh, how it has changed but as it is at the moment I, um, I rather like it see you soon